Okay. Hello, I am Mrs. Kelly's husband. I am Dr. Kelly. I am not the type of doctor that you go to to make you feel better. I am a doctor of chemistry and I study what happens when you mix things together and make new things. And today, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be studying and looking at what happens when you mix a few ingredients together and make something called elephant toothpaste. Now you may have seen this somewhere else before, but this one uses more kid-friendly ingredients. So it'll be a little safer to use if you want to do it at home. There are recipes for this on the web, and the one I'm following is from thoughtco.com. So let's start out. So first, we're going to be mixing together a number of ingredients here. We're going to be using dishwashing detergent. Doesn't have to be Dawn. Dawn is just what we have. You're also going to be using something called hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide may be what you have in your medicine cabinet, and your parents may use it if you get a cut or something. It can help clean the wound. That's what it's good for. We're also going to be using yeast. Yeast is great. I make lots of bread, and I use yeast all the time. Today, though, we're going to be using it to make something different when we mix it with the hydrogen peroxide. And then finally, last but not least, we'll be using a little water that we have here with the hydrogen with the uh, yeast, and we're gonna be putting it into this type of jar right here. It's called an Erlenmeyer flask, and you'll see why it's shaped this way in a few minutes. And we're also putting it into what's known as secondary containment, because sometimes when you're mixing things together as a chemist, it's good to have something in case you overflow. So we've got it into this bucket here, and we've also got it on a tray and on a table that has a tablecloth that can be cleaned easily and protects the table. So we're in good shape though. So before I get started though, I want to make sure I put on some safety glasses, um, because that's, as a chemist, what I do. Now, in this case, this stuff is pretty safe. So this may be a little bit of overkill, but I'm a chemist, and this is what I do. Okay, I think we're now ready to mix the ingredients together and see what happens. So first I'm going to take the hydrogen peroxide and pour it into Erlenmeyer flask. Okay, that's there. I'm also going to put a little bit of blue food coloring in there just to make it nicer. If you really want to wash dishes afterwards, maybe you don't want to do this, but, you know, it brightens things up a little bit. Okay. Put that in there and swirl it around. As I may have mentioned, you can use a um, 20 ounce or 17 ounce water bottle uh, for the same type of container. Something with a narrow lip or a narrow um, Opening is what's best. Now I'm going to put some the soap in there, dishwashing soap. That just helps make things look nice when we make mix the reaction together. So here now we need the soap. We're mixing it together well. And now we have a little blue in there and a little suds, but that's from the soap. That's not from any reaction, really. And now we are ready to pour in the yeast. Now I'm gonna pull back a little bit because this may erupt. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh my. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. That, boys and girls, is a chemical reaction. And it's the reaction of the yeast with the hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is good for cleaning wounds, but what's happening here is that the yeast is catalyzing or reacting with the hydrogen peroxide to produce a gas called oxygen. Oxygen is in the air we breathe, Nice gas to have around. Uh, and the soap really just makes it look all nice and sudsy. 
um, that's all the soap is really used for. So it's just help stabilize the foam. So that, boys and girls, is the experiment. Now the great thing about this is, if you didn't, of course, put in the blue dye or any other dye, you could put it in any color you want. You could use this to now wash things and help your parents out as much as you can. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.